What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new series, The Gentleman. Let's rock this. Now, if you're wondering, is this a sequel to Guy Ritchie's 2019 movie of the same title? No, not exactly. Here's the thing. This new show is set in that world of that gentleman film, but this one's got a whole new cast and a new set of characters. This series offers depth into this criminal world and an entirely new story to get stuck into. So yeah, that's basically it. And Guy Ritchie's continued obsession with the word gentleman is fascinating. As you all know, his next movie is titled The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. <laughs> Go figure. So there are a total of eight episodes. Each runs about 50 minutes to an hour tops. And I have watched all of them. And what is my verdict? The gentleman is absolutely splendid. What you need to know is that this whole entire show is about a game of dealings. Meaning, you scratch my back and I scratch yours. A.K.A. quid pro quo. And if anybody, anybody stumbles in the process, and it does happen quite often I might add, then fixing it also reverts back to what favor can I do for you so that you can return the favor to me as well. It's like a string of problem solve after problem solve after problem solve and cleaning up all kinds of messes along the way. It's so addictive and twistedly clever. The Gentleman is a sly, cheeky, amusing gangster action crime comedy that is very much in the same vein of what Guy Ritchie has always done. So if you liked all his previous other classics, such as Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch, for example, you're gonna love The Gentleman right from the very first episode. It is as simple as that. Created and directed by Guy Ritchie. The gentleman follows Eddie Halstead, who unexpectedly inherit his father's sizable country estate, only to discover that it's part of a cannabis empire. Moreover, a host of unsavory characters from Britain's criminal underworld want a piece of the operation. Determined to extricate his family from their clutches, Eddie tries to play the gangsters at their own game. However, as he gets sucked into the world of criminality, he begins to find a taste for it. Starring Theo James, Kaya Scodelario, Daniel Ings, Jolie Richardson, Vinnie Jones, Giancarlo Esposito, and Ray Winston. The first few episodes, there's so many things happening, you'd be completely absorbed by the complexities that Eddie keeps finding himself in. All he wants is to get his family out and away from this weed empire trap, but it's not as easy as ABC. All these other unexpected variables keep showing up that further complicate Eddie's ultimate objective. And it's so tantalizing, you can't wait to see how he would get himself out of every predicament. Episodes 4 and 5 are where it kind of slows down a bit. But the momentum picks up again in the last few episodes when some of the alliances are caught in misunderstandings and some folks apparently like to hold a certain leverage in their back pocket for rainy day. I mean, the intensity of the conflict will make you say, ah, I see what you did there. As far as the look and the style of the show itself, it's every bit as you would expect from a Guy Ritchie presentation. It's a combination of sharp suits and rough neck fellas, and you know, the usual suspects. A mix of high society class and street brawlers. But they are all getting down and dirty in the mud, and the one thing consistent throughout is that the cops' involvement is almost non-existent. And that is how Guy Ritchie likes to operate. Instead of a cat and mouse chase, it's just a collision of these eccentric gangsters trying to outwit and outplay each other. Some are aware that they're being used and some don't have a single clue at all. It's this collision of interesting characters and witty, zesty, British slang-fueled dialogues. At the heart of it, that is what's truly fun about watching The Gentleman. And the set designs also stand out to me. 
from the mansion to the underground weed farm to the gypsy trailers to the boxing club. They're not the most elaborate, most groundbreaking thing you'll ever see, but every one of those pieces is very inviting and most importantly, very effective. As for the performances, well, it depends on the characters, doesn't it? Many of them are bold and brash and saucy. My favorite is actually Kaya Scodelario as Susie Glass, whose stone-cold expressions make for a great cover when playing an angle or hiding a secret agenda. It's that quiet ruthlessness, and Kaya totally crushes it. Theo James as Eddie is very charming and diplomatic. Eddie is the kind of guy who resorts to violence only as the last option if he can help it. But as an ex-soldier forced into this criminal underworld, he also knows that he can't avoid killing a bloke or two even by accident. There's something ravishing about Theo's cool-headed, articulate performance whose plate is always full. And you can throw Giancarlo Esposito also in that same group of characters who prefers using underhanded tactics as a weapon. As for the rest of them, they range from being a loose cannon slash liability to emotionally driven slash reactionary, including the character who wears that giant chicken costume. If you're wondering, that is Eddie's brother, Freddy. And his situation can be described by Will Ferrell's famous internet meme. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> but the point is, Every one of the actors in this huge cast ensemble of the gentlemen is fully committed. They give 110%, no matter how ridiculous and over the top the scenes at hand might be. And that is downright impressive. So yeah, overall I give The Gentleman the rating of 4 out of 5. Look, The Gentleman is bloody excellent because Guy Ritchie once again leans in to his strength. This is his area of expertise. This is what he does best, and he delivers in spades. And the other directors who helm the subsequent episodes are just as much a fan of his storytelling style as we all do. So that's it. That's my review of The Gentleman. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with everyone you know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this.